Hello everybody, welcome back to channel and the vlog. Welcome back to my adventure in France. Um, I'm with my dog and thank you very much for the suggestions, especially Farmer Murphy and Looney for you farms. Um, I've decided to name the dog Ozzy. Um, it is actually a different name but we're going to call him Ozzy. Um, so thank you very much for the name. Um, Farmer Murphy and yeah we're going to call our pigs Paige and Drew <laughs> which is absolutely fantastic and uh, thank you Loon of you for this um, it is a, a brilliant <laughs> suggestion so we've got Paige and we've got Drew um, and they're, t they're two pigs enjoying themselves we better get the dog out of here before they uh, start fighting with each other come on there we go um, so yeah it times moved on we're into December um, as you can see I have managed to get our vegetable patch under the go under on the go and we have our uh, have tomatoes growing which is good so I filled this up with all the various things we need to including some garden substrate um, so we use some of that uh, it's got some seed in there it's got some straw in there obviously to keep uh, the bedding insulated uh, and it's got some manure in there and what I did is I purchased a load of uh, manure as well over here we have a new shed so these got uh, put up by our contractor and in all it was about three and a half four thousand pounds for these to get put up uh, or euro should I say so yeah not a great deal of money but they look pretty good I think and then as you saw from the little introduction um, I got our other field covered in grass send you back to your uh, to your uh, kennel yeah I got from the scraps of wood from here I got this kennel built for, for the dog as well so that's all sorted yeah I purchased this as well um, it wasn't very much money but it's it's done the job of uh, rolling our field as well and yeah over here I went and purchased a load of uh, bits and bobs. And the reason I could afford all this is, well, I sold, what did I sell? I sold 7,200 uh, 7, litres of uh, planks, uh, which gave us a good total of 6,534. Um, plus I've had income f overnight from the sawmill. Um, and the rest of the planks I have actually put into the sawmill as well so um, yeah so we've got a mixture into um, the main sawmill over there to make furniture and the rest I sold and then we've still got some up at Hamish's sawmill as well uh, so that funding allowed me to buy all these this seed and uh, manure and all this sort of stuff so uh, and a a pallet of fertilizer as well uh, and allowed us to get those fields completed I gave back the cedar um, and obviously I've put some of the equipment away I've left some of it out um, but yeah this did really really well and obviously our plow did great as well so all we need to do now is finish off a little bit more fertilizing so let's jump in here get the old uh, Ford started up again And yeah, we'll get over to the field. Well, we'll get this uh, this hopper filled up with these bags. I'll do that, and yeah, we'll see you over the field, and we'll get um, yeah, we'll get these in here, and then yeah, we'll see you over at the grass field, and we'll get another layer of fertilizer on it. I think. Right. See you in a second. Okay, so just get this into position, and. Yeah, I'll get this uh, started up. So, yeah, the grass field is, yeah, has had everything done to it. So it's had lime on it, it's had, um, it's been rolled, um, and, yeah, all looking pretty good. Uh, and, yeah, once I've got this on, this should be enough fertiliser on there as well. So, all in all, um, we should have a quite a productive grass field. The uh, wheat field over there is not as productive but 
we knew that anyway uh, when I put it in I didn't have all the ingredients to make a good field um, and I needed to rush to get that uh, that uh, crop in the ground as well so uh, yeah unfortunately it's a little bit low uh, but that's fine um, we'll still get something off it and then yeah what we need to do once this is done is we need to nip along to the sawmill because they've got a few things I, they need me to do they've uh, done quite a lot since you last saw it actually um, they've uh, actually put in a new couple of buildings and they've also they've also got some new machinery one of which is a, a vulture tractor which they've got on demo they've got it for like uh, 20 hours I think 20 hours use um, so they've got it for a fair, fair while um, and they're going to use that for um, primarily doing a bit of field work so what they want to do is create a field to put poplars in and they also want to create a tree nursery as well uh, just to experiment with um, some different trees uh, and see which grows best, which grows fastest all that sort of stuff so that's kind of their plan um, and if they can if we can help them with that, that that'll be yeah, that'll be a good job. I think. So what we'll do, in fact, let's leave this here. Turn those lights off. Uh, yeah, let's leave that here. We'll nip along the road. Uh, yeah, and we'll head down to there. The other thing is, it's Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. We've got not got any uh, snow on the ground, unfortunately, even though it is December. But uh, there is some in the offing later later in the winter, I think. But, um, yeah. Uh, we have got... Um, there's a Christmas market in the town. So we might go and visit that later. And have some mulled wine. I've also extended my fence along here. Um, I've just been using bits of scrap wood, to be honest. It looks quite nice. As it is, I, I think it looks alright, I'm quite proud of it, but we've extended it all the way up to here now, so it's doing pretty good. Um, yeah, so let's nip along here, we'll just uh, see where they're at, uh, see what's see what's what. Um, they put this big fence in along here, and I think the plan is to probably extend it up there, but there's trees in the way, so hence the, hence the machines out. Might be a job that we have to do. Uh, they also got me to plant some trees as well, so we've planted some birch along uh, the border of their, the road here. So we've got birch trees all the way along here, uh, which should look quite nice once they grow. Um, so we've got them all the way along there. And then, yeah, this fence extends here and they've created a new entranceway here. So all this is kind of as is. Um, but what they've done is they've moved some of the machinery across to here. They're in the midst of um, creating more space here, so they're putting a track in here with the with this little uh, Fiat Ali um, bulldozer. So they've been using that to get this uh, into place. And then I think the plan is to clear this uh, and put um, gravel down this gravel here, just a hardcore base and create more of a yard area here because what they want to do they want to put in more sort of wood facilities so we've got this sawmill in place here which makes um, beams so this is going to be used to make beams um, and you get some we'll be getting some wood chips and bark mulch out of that um, and we can create planks as well in this wood, uh, this sawmill. Uh, we've got the, just the right jigs on the machines. And then, yeah, like I said, they're looking to put some more stuff in here. And then next to this, so up here, uh, they want to clear all these trees out in here and uh, put in a poplar plantation. 
and then down here next to the yard they're going to put in some uh, the different species of tree just as a nursery just to see what happens so what I'll do is I'll go and um, I'll go and have a quick chat to them and see see what they want us to do and yeah like I said a few bits of machinery so they've bought this big plough um, so yeah it's a sort of a yeah pretty heavy duty but I think it'll do the job um, and I've got a tree planter here and this is the vulture yeah, so they've got this vulture and yeah what they've done is they've actually got rid of their uh, truck with the chipper on the back of it and they've actually swapped out for this they bought this the Heiser hack um, wood chipper which has storage in it as well so quite handy what I did do is I, I managed to chip the trees that they wanted to at the end of the last episode or two episodes ago should I say uh, two blogs ago and yeah got uh, got them chipped so there's a few chips in here um, and yeah all the woods stacked up just drying and it's going to be it's going to be uh, used in the new uh, new sawmill I think uh, yeah like I said there's a few wood chips in there but not many um, didn't seem worth it really so right I'm going to see where they're at and um, yeah see what needs to be done okay no so yeah plenty to do so this here is uh this is our furniture so yeah i put as i said at the start of the episode i put a load of planks in there um and yeah it's already they've already started making the furniture for us so these are for us to take away which is quite nice so we'll do that at some point um and then yeah what they want us to do is run over here they want us to take the harvester and chop down a few more trees and then that will leave them the space to get the rest of this fence in um, they said don't worry about the stumps uh, they'll get rid of them and then any of the smaller trees yeah they said to leave in situ and they're gonna get a, uh, they're gonna get them wood chipped so what we need to do is get this turned on get that opened up there we go it's the first one down um, yeah let's bring this over here a bit run into another tree let's so. bring that over here a bit oh that's heavy I'll probably do Um, cut a little bit longer they basically said to me that they wanted to get these cut to, for wood chips so I guess it doesn't really matter to how long they are really but um, yeah I mean for me personally I think it'd be easier just to get them out um, yeah to get them into the wood chipper if they're a bit shorter but yeah alright let's get that in there 
Alright, I think what I'll do... You have kind of seen me do this already, but... I'll get a bit of a... we'll get a bit of Christmas music on. Um, get a drone up. We'll get some tunes on and, yeah... We'll get get the trees done, chopped down, that we need to get chopped down for... Um, for getting this fence in. Right. See you in a little bit, and hopefully, yeah, it won't take me too long. So, there we go, last couple of trees chopped down, had to do the last two manually just because, um, yeah, didn't have a, didn't have much, much in the way of purchase with the old uh, machine, so yeah, we've got a fair bit of wood collected up here which is good, so yeah, we'll get that all wood, wood chipped and um, yeah, see how much, how many, how much wood chips we end up with. Actually, it'd be quite interesting to see. I've obviously got some big stumps about here as well, so I think what we'll do, we'll just, um, yeah, we'll get them, we'll get them tidied away um, as, as and when we can. And yeah, hopefully that's given them enough space to keep developing their yard. Um, I really do like using this Komatsu though, it's working really really well, I love it, really good. Um, and yeah, we'll have to jump in the Volvo, get the old uh, stump grinder on the go again, and uh, we'll clear all those stumps. But I think, um, yeah, I've done quite a bit of waffling here, it is, uh, for those that are watching this vlog, it is happening on... Um, Christmas Eve and yeah I'm actually going away um, going out um, and with the fire brigade and we're in a Christmas parade in our local village strict town so yeah we'll be doing that this evening uh, all this and um, yeah I think what we'll do we'll head up to I oh, don't need to look, close that I'll head up to the town and we'll go and see what's going on up there I think. Um, I reckon uh, Christmas Fair will be quite nice. We'll go and have a look. I think, uh, yeah. 
nothing else to be done here to be honest. So what I will do though is I'll cut close these gates. Just, uh, just more to keep the dog where it needs to be to be honest, but that's fine. Um so yeah, we'll leave Ozzy there and um yeah. So just to just to make you aware the the sawmill owns right out to here um, just now and their, their plan is to get all this felled um, and create uh, potentially some farmland um, to, to use uh, for the local community and start uh, growing some veg and stuff like that but we'll see see what happens so we'll see you down at the town and um, yeah and see what this Christmas Christmas fair is all about, shall we? Well, there we go, everybody. Uh, it's a lot later than intended. Um, as soon as I turned the camera off, I got a phone call from the mill to go back and help them um, before this stuff arrived. So yeah, I got the rest of those uh, logs uh, wood chipped and put away into storage and yeah um, then had to walk the dog had to eat some food to make sure all my stuff was put away so it is nine o'clock now um, but snow is falling out of the sky very wintry um, they've got some uh, model snowman outside the grocery which is quite cool and um, yeah over the road here is our fantastic Christmas market um, so let's go and have a quick look, shall we? Uh, we've got the Christmas lights up, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, this is the entrance way. So over here, we've got some glow-in-the-dark snowmen. They look a bit sinister like that, to be fair. But we've got some a couple of snowmen there, um, and yeah, plenty of Christmas trees dotted about. So we've got a nice big Christmas tree here. Well, as I said, all Christmas lights are up. And yeah, I quite like this one as well. This looks pretty nice. Um, Merry Christmas. And yeah, up this end, we've got um, obviously some more Christmas trees and our Christmas market. Now, it's a bit quiet just now, but yeah, I think the, the bad weather's sort of put people off a little bit. But we've got. Um, yeah, nice food stall there, and here we've got our sort of woodworking and oh, a gentleman. Uh, we've got woodworking, uh, and you can paint your own uh, paint your own animal, which is quite nice. Uh, give that as a Christmas decoration to someone. And then over here, we've got the gingerbread, and my favourite one of all, the mead and uh, glue vine, which is absolutely. So I think, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll have a glass of glue vine. Ooh. There we go. I'll put that just there just now. And uh, yeah, I'll probably finish the vlog there. A little bit of a short one. This one's uh, more, more to do with Christmas um, and like I said, I hope you really enjoy yours. Um, Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, a very happy new year. I hope you enjoy the festivities. May you everything be Santa. May Santa be good to you and may you uh, have a great time with family and friends or whatever you're doing. Um, enjoy yourselves. Uh, there will be more episodes from me over between Christmas and New Year but from the vlog for now we'll leave you to it. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Take care.